Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Good day. My name is Rafael Adrian A. Galang, a former contestant of the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo guys itong problem that really piqued my interest when I joined the PMO back in 2019. Part 1, number 7. Okay, so let's read the problem together. So trapezoid has parallel sides of lengths 10 and 15. Its two other sides have lengths 3 and 4. Find the area. Right? As with every geometry problem, we shall start with the figure. Okay? So here we have the figure, right? It's a trapezoid. We've labeled it A, B, C, D. With the bases 10 and 15 being B, C, and A, D, respectively. So first, let's think of the goal in mind. It's area, di ba? Ang kailangan natin for area ay basis and the height. Bakit nga ba base and height? Kasi the area ng isang trapezoid ay 1 half times the height times the sum of the basis. Sa ngayon, ang meron pa lang tayo ay basis. No? Ito yung 10 and 15. So ang kulay natin ay height. So yun muna yung drawing natin sa figure natin. No? Let's put it in the figure. Alright, so the height, no, pag titignan mo siya, yung height, tapos pag samahin mo yung dalawang bases, it sort of forms like this rectangle in the middle of the figure. Okay? Yung length ng rectangle could be seen here as the red segments, and the heights being the widths of the rectangle. And since rectangle nga siya, right, ba't nga ba siya naging rectangle? Because the two heights are perpendicular to the bases. Now, since this is a rectangle, that means the two red segments must be of equal length. Eh, yung isa dun sa red segments ay si BC, no? Which is length 10. Which means that the one on the bottom is also of length 10. Now, this red segment lies on segment AD. No, it's a portion of segment AD. But we do know that AD, given kanina, being length 15, eh di yung... Left and right na smaller segments na natira should sum up to 5, which is denoted here in blue. Right? So, back nung tinik ko yung contest, right here, right now, nag-ano ako, nag-Pythagorean, nag-equations, umulit, umulit, kasi I had some arithmetic errors. Pero there's another elegant way pala to look at this problem. Okay? And I will show that to you right now. The secret lies in the two blue segments. No, it's a bit of a shame, medyo magkalayo sila. What if pinagdikit natin? Okay? Let's take the let's take the blue segments and let's put them together. Along with the parts that come attached to it. Yung CD and yung height. Okay? So if you notice yung dalawang height din nagkadikit sila, no? Hindi lang yung dalawang blue segments, which is good for us. Okay? So if you see here, si CD it sort of slide, slided all the way to BD prime, no? From C, napunta siya kay B, si D, napunta siya kay D prime. Therefore, yung BD prime mo is the same length as CD. Okay? Bonus observation na lang yung BC, DD prime is a parallelogram. But we know that CD is of length 4. That means BD prime is also of length 4. Furthermore, itong blue segment is something that we've trying to, ano, diba? we're trying to connect. And now that they're together, and we know that those two segments add up to 5, then this length AD prime is 5. Now take a look. We have something new in the figure, which is our triangle ABD prime. No? Let's take a look at this triangle muna for a moment. No, the sides are 3, 4, and 5. 
To those who recognize it, yes, it is what we call a Pythagorean triple, a set of three numbers. Now, if you do happen to have a triangle with those three numbers as sides, then the triangle will be a right triangle. Okay, And the right triangle will be the angle facing the largest side, the hypotenuse, as we call it. In this case, 5 will be the hypotenuse. Therefore, angle ABD prime will be 90 degrees. All right, which is good for us because a right triangle is easy to calculate yung area niya. And siguro, no, the area of the right triangle could be a stepping stone to finding the area of the entire trapezoid, which is what we came here for. So let's take a look, no? Right, so let's remind ourselves that the height here, H, uh, we wrote it down here, is the same height as the trapezoid, no? Parehas yung kay ABD prime na height and the trapezoid. So we can find the area, no? one half base times height, okay? With h being the height and five being the base. However, ABD prime is not just any triangle though. Ito ay isang right triangle. So another way to calculate the area will be one half times the product of the two legs. This looks a bit promising, no? Let's try it out. Okay, so the tri the area of triangle ABD prime is equal to one half times the product of the legs. That's 1 half times 3 times 4. Furthermore, the area of the triangle is also 1 half base times height. That's 1 half times 5 times h. If you look at the equation, pwede na nating isolve yung value ni h. Right? With just a bit of algebra, we find that the value of h is 12 over 5. And let us put that in our figure right here. Okay? Now we've found the height of ABD prime. That means we've also found the height of the entire trapezoid. Which is exactly what we needed in the first days. Now in order to wrap things up, kailangan na lang natin silang ibalik sa formula. This means that the area of the trapezoid ABCD is one half times the sum of the bases, 10 and 15, times the height, 12 over 5. And with a bit of arithmetic, we find this value to be 30 square units. Pretty clever, no? Kung paano lumalabas ay isang right triangle from an unsuspecting trapezoid. But wait, there's more. There is one more approach that I would like to show to you guys, no? It's... A bit different compared to Ona, but it resolves on the similar ideas. No? Okay, so let's try to refresh the figure here. Right? Let's clear everything out. And let's try to make another triangle. No? This time, gusto ko naman mas malang triangle. Okay? So, where will we get that? Right? So, if you see, A, B, and C, D are sort of leaning towards each other. No? That's one way you can think of it. So what if nagkatagpo sila, no? Let's try to make ends meet, no? Pero this time, literal natin silang pagtatagpuin. So let's extend AB beyond point B. Tatago siya kay B. And CD beyond C, similarly. And let them intersect at a point. Let's call that point E. We arrive to, and we arrive at these triangles, no? BEC and AED. Although si BE and si CE, wala pa silang value. For now, let them be X and Y. Now, it's time to make a few observations about this new figure that we have. As usual, BC and AD, being bases of the trapezoid, are indeed parallel. However, something's new. AE and DE are transversals to this pair of parallel lines, meaning that they cut through these parallel lines. And kapag may transversal, may tinatawag tayong corresponding angles. And according to the corresponding angle theorem, corresponding angles are congruent. So maraming beses ko sinabing corresponding angles, mga tatlo ata. But anyway, what will that look like in our figure? It will look like this. Angles EBC and EAD are corresponding angles. Therefore, they are congruent. In a similar fashion, ECB 
and EDA are also corresponding angles, therefore congruent as well. But if you look at a wider perspective, no? EBC, EAD, ECB, and angles EDA are part of the two triangles, triangle BEC and triangle AED. Turns out we have two pairs of parallel, of parallel rather, um, congruent angles. Then by AA similarity theorem, this means that BEC and AED are similar triangles. Now, this is good news for us because when we arrive at a similarity, this opens up a lot of avenues to geometry. Because with similarity, we can look at the relationships of lengths. In this figure, naman, it's the corresponding sides. BE over AE, CE over DE, and BC over AD will have the same value. This is an inherent property of triangle similarity. However, we do have values and variables for all of these lengths. So let's try to bring them in dito sa property natin and see what it gives us. So denoted pa din by green and red, we substitute the lengths. And we have x over x plus 3 equals 10 over 15. Also y over y plus 4 equals 10 over 15. Now, these two equations are indeed solvable. Mahanat natin si x and y. So, if you would like to find them yourselves, pause this video and resume once you've found your x and y. Right, have you found them yet? So, the values of x and y turn out to be 6 and 8. So, let's bring them into our figure. And lo and behold, our figure is complete. Dahil kompleto na yung figure natin, it's again time for observation. Let's go to the smaller triangle first. Okay, so triangle BEC, my side siya, no? It's 6, 8, and 10. So is there anything um, peculiar about this triple? Okay, so it's actually again a Pythagorean triple. Right? 6, 8, 10 is actually another version of the 3, 4, 5. Pero doble lang siya, no? The 3 becomes the 6, the 4 becomes an 8, a 5 becomes a 10. Therefore, this triangle BEC is a right triangle. Hypotenuse will be 10. Therefore, angle BEC is 90 degrees. In a similar way, the bigger triangle AED will also then be right. Okay? Kasi the sides will be 9, 12, and 15. Another version of the 3, 4, 5. You multiply by 3, each of the numbers in the triple, and you get 9, 12, and 15. So, everything checks out, which is good. But verify natin na tama nga yung nakuha natin na right angle, si B, E, C. So, with right angles, there is area. Okay? So, how will this all relate? No? How will this come together kay A, B, C din na? Trapezoid. If you'll notice, yung area ni ABCD, kapag dinagdag mo siya sa area na smaller triangle BEC, you get the area of the entire figure, triangle AED. Ibig sabihin nun, para mahanap natin si ABCD, we take the area of the big triangle minus the area of the small triangle. Upon doing that, we find that the area of ABCD equals the area of triangle AED minus the area of triangle BEC. And since these two triangles are indeed right triangles, then finding the area is a piece of cake. Triangle AED will have area 1 half times 9 times 12 and the area of BEC will be 1 half times 6 times 8. Putting them all together, we find again that the area is indeed 30 square units. Same answer as before. So all in all, the answer to this problem, number 7, would be letter B. Alright, so I hope you guys uh, learned something, a thing or two, from this 
ap these approaches and I hope you saw the beauty of geometry and how elegant it could be in most cases. Right? And so I wish you guys a happy reviewing for your PMO and have a good day. Thank you. The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.